Hi gorgeous! So a new Barbie movie is coming to the theaters and I was mesmerized by Dua Lipa's makeup look in her poster of the Barbie mermaid. I really wanted to recreate it with you today and I think that makeup look is perfect for summer with the bronzy skin and the blue eyeshadows. Before we start don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. I'm posting videos every week. Head the band on. I'm gonna start off with the Makeup Forever Hydra Booster Step 1 Primer. This one is a 24 hour perfecting and softening base. I decided to go with this primer today because in the poster her skin looks glowy but not ultra shiny so I decided to use a hydrating primer and I'm going to apply this all over my face. I did a lot of research for this makeup look but it wasn't easy to find the products that they actually used on hair. I chose all of the products from my makeup collection so I can recreate her makeup look. Her skin in the poster is very natural glowy and very soft. It's not the editorial glowy skin that we see in some beauty campaigns. For foundation I'm gonna be using the Essence Stay All day 16 hour long lasting foundation i have here the shade 8 soft vanilla for this makeup look i have decided to use a combination of high-end and drugstore products because you can still recreate a makeup look this way this foundation is slightly darker for me now but i'm hoping that I will get a little bit tanned now that we have beautiful sunny days in berlin as well and i'm going to apply this all over my face. This foundation has full coverage and we can see in the poster that we don't see any texture or redness or any spots so most probably they have used a full coverage foundation. Of course there is a lot of editing as well because this is a poster and they are going to use it everywhere for marketing reasons of the movie. I'm taking some more here. I was between this makeup look from the poster and also the one in the video clip. Dolly by singing the song of the movie in the trailer. It is called Dance the Night. Yeah, Dance the Night. I really like the song as well. So I was watching that video clip a couple of times to figure out if I like that makeup look or the poster makeup look. They are both with blue eyeshadows. I decided to go with the poster because I really like the cerulean blue eyeshadows in her eyes and I think we can easily recreate it for every day. If you want me to recreate another Barbie makeup look, let me know in the comments. Why not? I really like that we have so many Barbies in this new movie and we don't just have the blonde Barbie, you know. I absolutely love the actress that is playing the blonde Barbie. I'm not sure, is this blonde Barbie? No, that's not her name. I, I don't know what is the name. Malibu Barbie maybe? Margot Robbie, I mean, it is. It, she was absolutely amazing as Harley Quinn. We also see a lot of Kens. I like the diversity that we have with this movie. I think the foundation is absolutely right for me now. I got some color. Nice. <laughs> and moving on to concealer, I'm gonna be using another product by Essence. This is one of my favorite drugstore concealers. This is the Essence Camouflage Matte Concealer. I have it in the shade 30 Light Honey. I have done a wear test with this product. I have used it since it was released basically. And I'm going to cover some redness. Also, I'm using this all over the eyes. And this is with one swipe, by the way two eyes and face. Someone asked me a few days ago if I really liked playing with my Barbies and the truth is I did but also when I had Barbies we didn't have other dolls or maybe we had and I just didn't like them. I don't remember. What I remember I was doing with my Barbies actually is I had a lot of felt tip pens that I could easily wipe off of my Barbies and I was doing their makeup, I was drawing on the eyelid, on the lips to change the lipstick color and I was like a Barbie makeup artist when I was a child. <laughs> That's very funny when I remember it. My mother still has those Barbies. She never throws away anything from our childhoods 
of my sister and I. I'm pretty sure if I go to my parents' house, I can find those Barbies. <laughs> I'm going to add just a tiny bit more in this area because I have more discolorations. We were playing a lot with my sister, with our Barbies, and we didn't have the Barbie house, so we were taking decorations from our own house and we were making them as our furniture for our Barbie house, our pretend Barbie house. Everyone does that as a child. In the poster, Dua Lipa has very bronzy skin. I don't think I can do this only with bronzer, so I'm going to use a contouring shade as well. And I have here the Makeup Forever face palette. This one is with only foundations. They have now a new palette with highlighters and the blushes. I bought this one before that release, last year actually, for my sister's wedding. And I'm going to take this shade here to contour my face. And this is gonna be the base of the powder bronzer. I'm trying to take off now the shade so I can tell you which shade it is. Okay, I'm not able to remove it. So I'm going to have here the name of the shade because you can find all of these foundations and you can buy them individually instead of this palette. So I think this is the perfect chocolatey shade to give that bronzy look. And I'm taking now a face brush. This is the Precise Face Brush CC02 by the brand SL Miss Glam. And this is basically a contouring brush. And I'm going to apply this directly on my cheekbone. Let's go to the other side as well. And this is my initial application. We're going to blend it out. Of course, I'm going to apply some on the forehead to give the perfect sun-kissed look. If you have a smaller forehead, you don't need to contour this area. You can skip it, but I have also area here so I can contour it. I'm also going on the jawline. Oops, I have a hair. It is stuck on my skin. I don't want it. Okay, I'm also connecting near the ear. And I'm going to blend it out with my sponge. This is a wet sponge. This way I'm also taking off some of the color payoff. So I can make it more wearable for my skin. Let's go on the forehead. And I'm trying to blend it outwards. Basically towards my hairline. <laughs> It is outwards. And don't forget the sides. The great thing with cream contouring is if you do any mistakes, you can go back with your concealer or the foundation that you used and you can correct the contouring. I'm going to take some more and apply only on this area. Okay, some more here. Also, I don't have a lot of product on the temples. I'm taking the sponge again. And basically my contouring shade is on the cheekbone and it ends on the outer part of my eye, both sides, because here is the area for the blush that we're going to apply. And now I'm taking the concealer to clean up a little bit this area. And I'm going right above the cheekbone. If you're not sure where is your cheekbone, you can just touch it with your fingertips. This is mine. I'm also going on this side. And with the bottom part of my sponge that doesn't have any product, I'm blending the concealer now. And you can immediately see the difference. And I'm gonna set all of the cream products with this powder by Skin Food. It is the Peach Cotton Multi Finish Powder. I really like this powder. It gives a soft matte finish. It also has a light scent of peaches. I'm blending here some of the crease lines. We don't want to set those. And now I'm going over it with my brush. And I'm going to apply this powder all over the face. Jolipa's skin on the poster is matte on a lot of areas, except a little bit the forehead, the chin, the cheeks, and of course, don't forget the jawline and the neck. I'm anticipating this movie a lot. Every time that I'm talking to someone, I'm telling them, hey, are you coming with me for the Barbie movie? Most of the people don't want to come with me. <laughs> Anyways, so I, I'm still trying to convince my husband. Let me know, have you watched any movies lately at the cinema? I haven't been to the movies for 
more than three years okay i have set everything now it is time for the eyes so i'm blending again the crease lines and it is always easier if you look up and be very very gentle with your eyes i'm also going to blend the eyelid and now with a smaller brush i'm tapping the product on the under eye area i prefer using a brush so i can be more precise with my application and don't forget the eyelid the brow bone the inner corner so another movie that i want to go and watch is the super mario movie have you watched it let me know in the comments do you like it so that one is being at the theaters for a while now i'm hoping i will not miss it let's go now and intensify the bronzy skin look and i have here the maybelline city bronzer it is a bronzer and contour powder in the shade medium cool 200 and i'm going to apply this on top of the cream contouring that we have created i'm taking a small bronzer brush i really like the color of this bronzer because it is warmer and it is so effortless to give that sun kissed look i really like it i'm going over the hairline the the forehead basically <laughs> and when you're using cream and powder products for your face you're not gonna lose the intensity of the colors your face makeup is gonna stay all day long so if for example you have a powder blush that is fading after a few hours maybe you can use a cream blush as a base just so you can use up the blush the powder blush i think she has some definition on her nose yeah so i'm going to apply the same powder on my nose as well <sighs> yeah i'm gonna bring some brushes so i'm taking a small round blending brush and the same powder and i'm going to create a straight line from the tip of the nose towards the inner part of the brows i'm doing the same on the other side as i can see she has more bronzer here and she also has intensified the tip of the nose so i'm going to apply around the tip bronzer and then i'm blending all the edges so you don't see what i have applied on the nose for the blush i decided to go with this l'oreal blush of paradise and this is in the shade one life is a peach another blush that i was thinking about using is this one by kigo milano this is the smart color blush in the shade six the l'oreal one is just a little bit peachier and it reminds me more the Dua Lipa's makeup look so that's why I'm gonna use this one with the same bronzer brush I'm taking the blush and smile I'm going to apply the blush only on the outer part of my cheekbone and I'm going to leave all of this area lighter Ooh, that looks nice and let's go to the other side smile and I'm trying to apply from the outer corner towards the brow bone. Not brow bone, cheekbone. Cheekbone, not brow bone. Let's see the picture again. Yeah, she's not smiling and her blush goes a little bit downwards. Of course, they did her makeup according to her bone structure. And she definitely has blush on the nose. So we're doing the same. I also love nose, nose blush. She has such a pretty nose. I'm adding some more blush on my cheeks because you can really see the color on here. After finishing the eye look, we're gonna see if we need more powder products. As I can see, we have a beautiful light golden highlighter on her face and I have swatched quite a few of my highlighters. I decided to go with this one. This is the Natasha Denona Super Glow Highlighter. It is in the shade 2 Light Medium. This is such a beautiful soft highlighter you don't really see the color on my skin that's why i want to use it the highlighter in her poster is almost not visible so i'm taking the brush e40 by sigma and this beautiful highlighter and i'm going to apply this on my cheekbone a little bit here 
on my blush. I can't really see her temples, so I'm not gonna apply a lot of product here. She definitely has some on her nose and also here over the bridge of the nose. So ooh, I have never tried this before and my nose now looks smaller. Nice trick. And let's go to the other cheekbone. I'm not gonna apply anywhere else, I think. The highlighting that she has here is not really a highlighter. I think it is the lighting that she had. I love this highlighter. It is so soft, so natural on the skin. And I'm taking the previous brush to blend everything together. Ooh, it looks so nice. This is actually one of the highlighters that I have most of the times in my travel makeup bag. I love how the skin turned out and I'm going to apply just a little bit of this lip gloss. This is what I have now on my lips. I think I have foundation and it covered the lip gloss. So this one is the Lifter Gloss by Maybelline in the shade 22 Peach Ring. Since I did my lip swatches video, this has been in my everyday bag. This is from the Candy Drop collection. I'm going to have a link in the description box if you want to see the lip swatches of all of the Lifter glosses. And then now it's time for the brows. Brows, brows. So she has beautiful bushy brows, fuller. I don't, so I need to fake it. And I'm going to be using this palette here by Benefit. It is the Brow Zinx Pro Palette. Before we go into this palette, I'm going to take a Q-tip and clean my brows. We need to remove any makeup products that we have applied on the brow here. So we can apply our brow products. And now let's go to the brow palette. This one has brow powders and the powders can give the most natural finish to your brows. I'm taking these two shades here. I'm brushing my brow hair downwards. And now I'm going on the area that I don't have a lot of brow hair. So I need to fake them. <laughs> And I'm going to zoom you in just a bit so you can see the brows and the eyes. <laughs> I want to create a fuller look but also very natural. And I'm going directly on top of my brow hair because they are sparse and thin. Now I'm brushing upwards. These powders have full coverage so you don't need a lot of product. And then I'm going with less product in the inner part of the brow because this is how they naturally grow. We have less hair in the inner part and then we have more, more, more and again less. The last few weeks I'm using a brow serum by e.l.f. Cosmetics and I really think it started working. I'm taking pictures so I can update you what's happening with my brows. I can see some progress and I'm very happy about that. So I'm going to the other brow now and I'm trying to create a fuller arch here. So in this area, I'm trying to create more brow hair that I don't have. And this is by the way, in the shade medium deep, they have one more brow palette for lighter brow hair. And I'm going to set my brow hair now with the Benefit Fluff Up Brow Wax. This is one of my favorite brow gels at the moment. And I'm thinking about filming my current favorite. I'm brushing all of my brow hair upwards to give a fuller look. Her brow hair are not brushed upwards, but this is the only way for me to give a fuller look. Now I'm taking the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. This is in the shade 4 and I'm going to be using this... Oh, it is dirty. What is that? A brow hair? It is a new brow pencil. Anyways, and I'm going to be using this on the lower part of my brow because I don't have brow hair here. And with the powder, I can't fill in this area. I'm also applying some on the other brow. And then I'm taking the concealer that I used on my eyes and I'm going to add some on the back of my hand. Then with an angle brush, this one has synthetic bristles, I'm taking some of the concealer and I'm going to carve out the edges. After applying the concealer with the edge of the brush, I'm blending the product on my face. And now I'm setting the concealer so it doesn't crease with the same powder that I have applied before. Now, if you already have fuller brows, 
You don't need to use the brow pencil, you can use brow powders and the brow gel, but if you have thinner brows, you can do what I did. I'm very excited about the eyes and I'm gonna be using this palette here. Yes, it is pretty bulky. It is the Blue Blood Eyeshadow Palette by the brand by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And let me show you. This palette here has the perfect color story for this eye look or any blue eye makeup look. I'm going to start with this eyeshadow here. It is called Celebrity Skin. I'm taking a round brush, blending brush, and I'm getting this in the crease area. So this is gonna be the base for all of the blue eyeshadows. You don't really see a light beige eyeshadow on Dua Lipa's eyelids, but it's going to be the guideline for all of the blue eyeshadows and it's not so visible. Now let's start with the blue eyeshadows and I'm going to take this one here. It is called Blue Monday and I'm going to place this in the outer part of my eyelid and also in the outer crease. This is basically the eyeshadow that is visible in the crease. I'm trying to not blend it towards my brow bone because I'm trying to keep it in this area. And let's go to the other eye. Again, I'm just dotting the outer eyelid and then I'm going in the crease. This is a very vibrant blue eyeshadow. You need your time to blend it. Now I'm going in the eyeshadow Deceased. I don't know what was the theme of the palette and why do we have these names. I bought this palette a few years ago and surprisingly you can still buy it. And then I'm placing these on the two thirds of the eyelid. So I'm not going to apply this dark eyeshadow in the inner corner. I'm twisting my brush now and I'm blending the edges in the eyelid towards the crease. I'm wiping off the excess product and now I'm going to blend the inner part of the eyelid. This is exactly the color of your blue blue hair. Am I right? Mm -hmm. I'm taking deceased again and I apply this almost all over the eyelid. Ooh, this color is so pretty. It reminds me summer vacation. And now without any product on my brush, I'm blending the inner part. Now I'm taking again the same eyeshadow and this time I'm pressing to make the color more noticeable and fuller, more intense. This one is not a very shiny eyeshadow but I really like it for this eye look. It doesn't seem like she has very shimmery eyeshadows on her eyes in the poster of the Barbie makeup. Barbie Mermaid. And for the inner part of the eyelid, I'm taking now the eyeshadow Eye Stray. This is a beautiful silvery blue eyeshadow. Ooh, it looks like the poster. I'm also blending this in the crease. I'm wiping off my brush again and I'm blending towards the center of the eyelid. Okay, nice. Let's go to the other eye. Press, press, press. It looks so nice. Blue eyeshadows are scary to use. If you feel that you're gonna have fallout, you can do your eye makeup first and then your face makeup. Or you can hold a tissue paper while you're applying your eyeshadow, something like this. You can also use eyeshadow shields and maybe eye masks. We also need to apply some eyeshadows on the lower eye. And I'm going again in the eyeshadow Blue Monday. I was gonna say Blue Sunday. <laughs> And I'm pressing my brush very close to the outer lower eye. This is a smudging brush by Essence. Basically, it is like a smaller eyeshadow brush. For this step, it is better to use a flat brush, not a round one. If you want to make it more similar to Dua Lipa's makeup. If you don't, you can use a round blending brush. And I'm going to the other side. I'm also blending towards the outer corner to connect the eyeshadows here. I'm taking again the eyeshadow eye stray and I'm going to apply this in the inner part of the lower eye and also I'm blending towards the darker blue eyeshadow. Ooh, it is coming together! And I'm doing the same on this eye. Now I want to blend the edges of the lower eye more and I'm going to take again this eyeshadow 
Celebrity Skin. It's a very heavy palette and inconvenient to use in eye looks in makeup tutorials. So with this eyeshadow, I'm going over the edges to give a softer look. And don't worry about the blue eyeshadows, we're going to add some more. I'm doing the same on this eye. My eyes are slightly hooded and when I'm looking straight into my mirror, I don't have a lot of color in the crease area. So I'm taking again eyeshadow Blue Monday and the smaller brush. This time I'm going to apply this in the outer crease and a little bit above my actual crease. So we can see this beautiful shade with my eyes open. Dua Lipa has smaller eyes, mine are a little bit rounder and more hooded. Also I have bigger eyelids than here. And then I'm taking eyeshadow Celebrity Skin and I'm going over the edges of the blue eyeshadow to make it even softer. This eye is not as hooded as the other one. So I need to define it in the same way. And that's why I'm always starting with my hooded eye, more hooded eye. And I'm trying to keep this closer to the eyelid. I'm not going very close to the brow bone. For the inner corner, I'm taking this light white silvery eyeshadow and I'm going to add this in the tear duct, a little bit in the inner part and also on the lower eye. Oops, I applied too much. Okay, I'm cleaning my brush and now I'm brushing towards the crease. This is a beautiful eyeshadow because it blends with all of the other blue eyeshadows and it really highlights the eyes and brings the eye look together. Again, I have applied a lot, so I'm cleaning my brush on a tissue that I have in front of me. And then now I'm blending towards the blue eyeshadows. I have applied a lot on the side, so I'm trying to remove it with a Q-tip. And with a very small angle brush, I'm going to take now the darkest eyeshadow of the palette. It's this one here. It is called Undertaker. And with this one, I'm going very close to the lashes. She has a very thin line of a darker eyeshadow or cream eyeliner very close to her lashes. And I think this dark blue eyeshadow looks very, very similar. It doesn't seem like she has something very intense for eyeliner. So most likely this eyeshadow. Also, let's not forget, this is a very edited picture and she has like a small flick here like a wing but it is blended so it's not so noticeable i'm trying to create a very small one now i'm taking another brush to blend it and you can see the difference between my eyes with this one you can see the eye shape better i haven't done a blue eye look in a while and i'm loving this one and let's create a small wink here i'm taking some more of the eyeshadow oops no that's a lot so i'm blending it it also seems like she has something on the lower eye i'm going to take exactly the same eyeshadow with the same brush and i'm going to apply this very close to the outer lashes of the lower eye and i'm also going to connect it with the upper eyeliner eyeshadow liner this gives the doll eye effect to the eyes and i'm also connecting outwards and then now i'm taking eyeshadow eye stray and with this one i'm going in the inner part of my crease because it looks like she has shimmery eyeshadows here and this one also has like a lavender sheen so it goes very well with what we see in the poster. In her waterline, it seems like she has a nude eye pencil or nothing. So I'm going to clean my waterline with a clean Q-tip. So this is not the easiest thing to do on camera because I need to find a different mirror. The easiest way to clean your waterline is to bring your big mirror very close to you, take your Q-tip and stretch a little bit of the skin downwards and go in the waterline. I hope I was in focus. I don't think that she has false lashes. Maybe she has individual lashes, but 
I don't know, her lashes look very natural like her own, so I'm gonna be using this mascara here by L'Oreal. This one is the Lash Paradise, it is the waterproof version, it is also black and I really like the regular version as well. I decided to use it just because it is blue <laughs> and it goes with the eye look, priorities you know. So I'm going to define the lower and the upper lashes. Her lashes are more defined on the outer part, so I'm going to apply more product here. I, I kind of don't like this mascara today. Maybe I'm going to switch to a different one. I'm trying to give an eye-opening effect. I think this mascara started getting drier. And I don't have the effect that I usually have. I brought the Surreal to apply on top of this. You don't need to use two mascaras, use your favorite one that gives volume and length. I just, I feel that my Lush Paradise is at the end of its days. So I want to define better my lashes with the Surreal. I've also tried this one in my latest Maybelline video. I'm going to have a link in the description box. Now that we have the eyeshadows done, I need some more bronzer. I'm taking again the City Bronzer and I'm going to add it on the cheek and on the forehead. Because the eyes are so intense now, we need some more. And I'm also going to apply some blush because it's not so noticeable now with the blue eyeshadows and on the nose and I think she has blush also on the sides of the nose so I'm doing the same <laughs> for the lips I have swatched at least 10 different lipsticks and all of my lip pencils so I could find a combination of that beautiful peachy brownish shade that she has on her lips so I'm now removing the lip gloss I'm neutralizing with a little bit of concealer now I'm taking this MAC pencil lip pencil in the shade Boldly Bare. I have swatched so many lip pencils to find this one. This is the winner. And with this one, I'm going to outline my lips and I'm starting on the center. And I'm going to apply this all over the lips as well. I love peachy orange lips with blue eyeshadows. They look amazing together. And for lipstick, I'm going to use a shade from this palette here. It is the Pixie and Louise Raw Lip Cream and Rouge Palette. You can use this as a lipstick or a blush. And I'm going to take the shade Smooch. Oops, oh my god, I'm gonna drop it. So it is this shade here. With my spatula, I'm taking some of the lip shade. Then I apply this on the back of my hand. And I'm going to take it again with a lip brush. This way I'm not gonna contaminate the lip palette and I apply this all over the lipstick. Ooh, yeah. It is exactly the shade that Dua Lipa has. Ooh, it looks so good with the eyeshadows. Very nice combination. I love the recreating this makeup look. Do you like it? Let me know in the comments. Do you want me to do more celebrity inspired makeup looks? I'm so happy with my recreation. I wish you an amazing day and you can also watch this video here.